This will guarantee narcissists will be 100% done if you give them this one response. Everyone, I extend my deepest gratitude to each and every one of you for investing your valuable time in joining us today. Your presence in this forum holds immeasurable significance and we wholeheartedly appreciate the steadfast support and active engagement you bring. This channel flourishes because of remarkable individuals like yourselves and I genuinely value the attentiveness you bring to our discussions. Before we immerse ourselves in the captivating content that awaits, I cordially invite you to subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell. In this episode, we embark on a journey to unravel the cunning tactics deployed by narcissists, equipping you with the knowledge and tools essential for liberation from their snares. It's crucial to grasp that navigating such relationships necessitates a profound understanding of the negative emotions that often cloud our judgment. By directly confronting these emotions, we can chart the most optimal course of action and reclaim our intrinsic personal power. A relentless hunger for control propels the narcissist beyond mere manipulation of others' emotions. Regardless of the extent of our emotional turmoil, their malicious desires remain insatiable. These abusers demand more than just the evidence of our pain and betrayal, they crave proof that their actions have inflicted enduring emotional scars upon us. True success in the eyes of narcissists lies in their ability to shatter our will and plunge us into perpetual misery, mirroring their own state. They derive perverse pleasure from the notion that we are condemned to a lifetime ensnared in anguish, forever denied the solace of peace. To the narcissist, it is preferable for us to clutch onto our resentment and hatred towards them than to permit us to progress with our lives. The aftermath of narcissistic abuse can imbue us with bitterness and anger, entirely natural reactions to the profound injustices we've endured, especially when this abuse is relentless and recurrent. The toxic amalgamation of fury and sorrow directed at the narcissist takes root and thrives, forging an emotional tether that binds us to them. Yet, acknowledging the presence of this anger marks the initial step towards its transcendence. The question that emerges is, how do we embark on this transformative journey? Vigilantly monitoring our emotional responses whenever the narcissist's name resurfaces or thoughts of them infiltrate our consciousness. As long as these negative emotions persist, animosity will persist alongside them. Maintaining composure amidst such pressure is paramount. The first stride is self-awareness, coupled with the acceptance that a problem exists. For some, liberation from the trauma of abuse materializes through candid conversations with others. The articulation of the ordeal's intricate details can serve as a pivotal stride towards recovery and rehabilitation. It is essential to confide in individuals who possess either knowledge and understanding of narcissistic abuse, or, at the very least, the empathy to listen to your narrative without judgment. Emphasizing the paramount importance of proactively fortifying our mental and emotional well-being, we delve into the significance of dismantling emotional triggers that bear no direct connection to narcissists. The perilous domino effect, incited by an array of visual or auditory stimuli, demands unwavering vigilance and tenacity, skills that warrant cultivation. Within this intricate tapestry of self-preservation lies the value of redirecting one's focus towards individuals and experiences that foster genuine happiness. This redirection often necessitates a radical step, the one of no contact, severing ties with the narcissistic presence. Consider, for instance, the concept of aging, a thought thread intertwined with this labyrinthine journey. The tranquil embrace of silence becomes a potent alley as attention is repurposed, turning inward, away from the narcissists who've cast a shadow over one's life, towards the bacon of personal growth and recovery. As one ceases to fuel the narcissist's voracious appetite for suffering by withholding reactions to their provocations, the flames of their desire to witness our torments steadily diminish. In the symphony of healing, forgiveness and liberation from the narcissist's influence compose crucial movements, orchestrating the path to restoration and expansion. The resounding truth emerges. The sanctity of mental health, a profound imperative demanding dedicated moments of introspection. In carving a path towards robustness and competence, the beacon of self-care must be hoisted high, illuminating the way forward. Narcissists, those skilled puppeteers of our emotions, adept at unsettling our sense of security, prompt us to contemplate how we interpret and counteract their machinations. 
painstaking analyses converge on a resolute revelation, silence, the art of doing nothing, stands as our most potent weapon against their dominion. To deny them the gratification of our engagement, to refuse participation in their inflated sense of self-significance, is to disarm their threats. Our response, meticulously calibrated to pierce their armor of pride, culminates in the potent act of offering them nothing if that is all they seek. To ignore, to shift the spotlight from their antics to the vibrant stage of one's happiness, emerges as the ultimate retaliation against the narcissistic orchestration. In this labyrinth of thoughts, should inquiries or concerns spring forth, we extend an open invitation for contact. Kindly express your thoughts by engaging with the like button and sharing this enlightening discourse. The canvas below awaits your insights and experiences, a space for dialogue. With wishes for a week adorned with boundless joy and triumph, we extend our profound gratitude for your steadfast support.